Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over how to make an SSI function and make a custom layout for that function for the data to be displayed in that layout. So first of all, I have this simple SSI page, but you could be adding your SSI function to your board index on the side or wherever you want. So to begin, I'm going to open up the SSI file in the SMF directory right here ssi.php open that up and i'll be going over the recent topics so recent there's recent posts recent topics so what i'm going to do is just copy that whole function go down to the bottom here copy i'm just going to paste that function to the bottom of the ssi page and change the name around just add custom to the end of that name and then we can just call that function on whatever page you want you can get rid of the arguments and just use the defaults because usually those are fine unless you want to change those around and all we're going to be doing is editing this bottom portion here for the layout so right now our page is going to look like this with the call uh, fail so we must have not saved our SSI yep there we go so I just saved my SSI.php and it's fine so this is how SMF's uh, recent topics SSI function looks when you call it normally but I like to simplify it and make it a little more pleasing to the eye and not so large. So what we're going to be doing is just getting rid of most of this TD here and get rid of these inline attributes at the top. You can also get rid of these if you want, but I'm just going to leave SSI table there. So what we're first we're going to be doing is adding the recent topic title and below it the poster and the date but I'm adding a custom date layout since this colon format is kind of weird and clunky so what first gonna be doing is I'm going to show you the data that we can access in within this function so what we can do is just echo pre to format or gonna be printing out so then we're gonna print out the post data which is what all the data is used, print r, I'm sorry, print r, and then copy paste the pre and close it off. And save that. Refresh, and this is all the data we have within that function that we can use and display however we want. So I'm gonna be using the topic link, where is that right here, the topic link. I'm using the poster link and the timestamp right here. Okay, so First, I'm going to add a div inside the TD called RT title slash div. And all we have to do is use uh, link, post link, because we're doing it for each post, and that goes into the zero. And then we just want to use link. So add post and bracket link that we can refresh and go down you can see we're just echoing out just the topic links so next we're going to be adding the poster link underneath it the person who actually created the topic so rt info and then slash div and then that is under post and then poster and link so as you can see all I did was go in from the post to poster to link right here save that refresh and you can see that change right here the other div of who made it below each topic alright the final thing we're going to be doing is adding in the date function and with the timestamp so the date is a little more less clunky from what this looks like. So we're going to be using the timestamp. I'm just going to add a little colon there for looks and the date function like that to a colon. Add our string and how it's going to be displayed and then our post and timestamp. Since I don't have all the date uh, string format uh, memorized, I'm just going to look it up right here. And we're first going to want the month, the full month uh, written out, so F. Now we'll just go right inside the string. 
space the day of the month. Uh, right here, we'll use this one, J. And then we'll do a comma. And we'll have the year, which is Y. And then our comma. And then this is where the time is. So we want the 12 hour format. So G. And then colon the minutes, which is I. And then we're going to do the AM PM, which is right here, A. So that's all you have to do to make your custom date format out of the timestamp. Save that and refresh. And now you have your fully fledged custom layout SSI function. To get rid of the data, all you have to do is comment out the echo pre and print R and refresh and then you have your custom layout and it's all finished for you that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching I'll be trying to make another tutorial on how to make a span collapse block for the side of your board index with this custom SM SSI layout function if that's done I'll add an annotation and link it in the description thanks for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and have a nice day